in abandoning the Tanga Tanga team or Team Tanga Tanga, the Elgeo Marquette governor, Alex Tolgos, pointed out something major. He said the reason why he's leaving the Tanga Tanga group is because of the insults. Yeah, wana tusi watu kila mahali. Now, if I was a member of the Tanga Tanga team, yeah, I would uh, urge my colleagues to take this very seriously, yeah, and to abandon the insults, yeah, and try and find another strategy. Granted, yeah, hurling insults at people during public rallies is exciting to the crowd, is exciting to the audience, it draws huge crowds. However, in my view, it is not politically viable for somebody who wants to be president of the Republic of Kenya. It's not. Secondly, the game of politics is a game of seduction, yeah, not a game of forced marriage or rape. Just like in a relationship between a man and a woman, you don't force things in politics. How? How do you do that and succeed? You know that the girl you're interested in yeah, is already very friendly with your rival. Yeah. Now when you meet with her, you don't start insulting your rival. <laughs> that will not work. That could rub up the girl the wrong way yeah, and mess up everything. What you do is that you sell yourself. Yeah, and uh, you might drop a hint or two showing how different and how better you are than your rival. You do not insult. Yeah, but having said that, there's something else you should take careful note of. Yeah, D.P. William Ruto, look at his political career. Yeah, where has he been able to make headway? Where has he been able to be a big success? For starters, he became a big name in the Rift Valley by insulting other Kenyans who had settled in the Rift Valley. Yeah, and who the local people had some animosity against. That's how he rose to prominence. And then when he created Team Hururuto yeah, in 2013, he gained mileage by insulting Raila Odinga. He got Central Province yeah, very determined to vote for that team by insulting Raila Odinga, which worked because he was deputy president on that ticket, yeah, not the president. And even if you want to argue with me and tell me that it worked then and it can work again. Let me tell you something, categorically, yeah, it will no longer work in Kenya, not in the new Kenya, no way. It worked then, but it will never work again in Kenya. Number three, even if you want to insist that it's a viable tactic in politics, yeah, to insult others, there is something else you should consider. Tactics and strategies in politics grow old and tired and ineffective very quickly. There is no way tactics that you did in 2013 yeah, will keep on working in 2019 and beyond up to 2022. <laughs> that is not possible. That is completely disregarding human nature. And it is human nature to get bored yeah, and tired when somebody gets monotonous on you. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. But of course, D.P. Ruto is a student of uh, Daniel Toroticharap Moy and a student of the old Kanu. And that is how the old Kanu thrived, on insulting others. Yeah? And therefore, I believe it is too late. Yeah, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Therefore, it is impossible for Team Tanga Tanga to change tactics. Yeah? Well, I'm hoping they'll prove me wrong, but I don't see. I don't see that happening. Yeah, but I'm ready to be proved wrong. Still on the Rift Valley, Joshua Kutunyi yeah, visited a church in Kikuyu constituency, Kiambu County, last Sunday, Sunday 5th May. Yeah, and he gave a very, very interesting speech, which should give us very clear pointers of the direction our politics is taking. Now, that was an extremely interesting speech by Joshua Kutunyi, yeah, and very important speech. 
in fact that is why i have put a link in the description area of this video yeah which will link to that speech yeah on the channel of another kenyan youtuber yeah so make sure you take it in now something very interesting came out of that speech according to joshua kutunyi when team kileweke started they had only four legislators for members of parliament but now according to kutunyi they have 60 so they've grown considerably okay on the other end of the scale he says when team tangatanga launched they had over a hundred members of parliament on their side on that team today he says there are only seven now if that is true <laughs> that is very explosive information yeah i've said if that is true because we live in very tricky times politically yeah people may be quiet but they have not really abandoned team tanga tanga people may also come out very clearly and say they have abandoned the team while in actual fact they have not yeah so we need to be careful <laughs> that's why i'm saying if it is true that is very telling and very explosive news but what really caught my attention yeah, at this church service last sunday in Kikui constituency was the fact that uh, Joshua Kutunyi offered some goodies to locals yeah he promised three to four jobs in government public service commission to members of the church where he was speaking and then he also told the idle youth in the constituency to wait for him outside the church after the service yeah he sorts them out now <laughs> according to Kenyan language that means he dishes out handouts to them he dishes out cash to them and then he gave team keleweke a new name he said this is actually team serikali yeah that's a government team so my simple question is have we now moved to a situation where team keleweke or team serikali will be dishing out money and dishing out goods during their rallies and speeches i suspect so yeah because joshua kutunyi is very close to the presidency remember he was the political advisor to president huru kenyatta between 2013 and 2017 after he lost uh, the cherengani uh, parliamentary seat he was appointed by the president he was very close to the president so i need to ask you a question do you think he has now ceased to be close to the president i don't think so and you'll remember we've been discussing on this channel that the handshake principles are not uh, putting their cards on the table yeah and therefore we have to read their next moves from what those who are close to them are doing and Bonakutuni is as close as you can ever get to the presidency and so my strong advice let's keep a very very close eye on that and see how it develops the other thing that caught my attention about this sunday service is that Bona joshua kutuni picked a church bang in the middle of kikuyu constituency who is the legislator in this constituency <laughs> you know it's kimani shungwa kimani shungwa is one of the closest allies of the deputy president is the main guy one of the main guys in team tanga tanga and during his speech kutunyi threw bubs at ichungwa yeah he asked the congregation to realize that the mp has had his security withdrawn and therefore that should be a very big clear message from the government about what kind of person their legislator is now i also find the timing of this move very interesting because just a few days ago the supporters of a man called William Kabogo, who is a former uh, governor yeah, of this particular county, Kiambu County, held demonstrations demanding an explanation from Bona Kabogo as to why he is associating himself with Tim Tanga Tanga. It is possible that this could be a coincidence, but I don't think so. I suspect that going forward, we will see more and more demonstrations against those legislators or politicians within central province who are supporting team tanga tanga yeah let's just keep a close eye on that 
and see what happens next. Very interesting times we live in. Thank you.